Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. This is the new Heart Lake City High School that's coming out this year. I will buy it because I like the front of it but I'll make something else out of it. This is the original 2013 Heart Lake City High School. Little toilet on the side, double doors and two classrooms and a basketball hoop. Today I will show you how to put your classrooms together. I have used two sets to make this big school. I've added some trees here at the front and I've put the basketball hoop here on the grass and I've made two toilets. I felt the school needed two toilets and in between here we will put a locker. I've kept the locker the same as in the set and there's nothing inside at the moment. No one's at school. We'll pop that in there in between. I've put two matching light posts on the side, kept the double doors and two signs. Just so you know, it definitely is a high school. I've got the two tables outside so they can eat lunch. And we'll just accessorize it with some games, books and a laptop. We are going to go inside now and I'll show you what I've done with the canteen or tuck shop area. I felt the canteen needed to be a lot bigger for the school. We have some posters and a menu on the side here. And I've stuck a sticker on here to show you there is a roll show coming up. And that's the sticker that came with the set. We have a bench seat there and here I will put another set of lockers. So I've taken the base off there so it fits nicely now. There we are. And we need a water cooler so the kids can have some fresh water all the time on tap. Now we have the refrigerated display cabinet with lots of tasty sandwiches. Yummy! We'll pop the cash register here on the side. There we are. We'll pop some milks here on the back shelf. And we have some orange juices. Yummy! Full of vitamin C! Also we have the most important fruit bowl to put in. Banana, apple and some cherries. Delicious! This is Tina, the canteen lady. She will help you with all of your lunch needs. Oh, what have we got here to choose from? We will be taking a look at the music room now. We need to fit it out with lots of things. We'll start with putting these tiles down with studs on top because we are going to put a drum set on here. I have this drum set. It came with Amir's bedroom set long ago. I thought it would go quite nicely at the school. Pop that in there. And here we have some music notes on a stand. I am going to hang up some guitars now on these wall clips. I think we need a colourful piano. We'll pop that here in the corner. And a little stool so you can sit down and play. Another music stand. And we need a microphone for everyone singing. Here we have the music teacher. 
and we need someone to play on the piano. We'll pop this girl in on the stool and the original Andrea. She's going to belt out a few tunes. Pop her in. La la la! Along here now, and these are the two bathrooms I have made. I've kept them the same, and oh, I'm jumping up and down. I think I'm busting. We'll quickly show you the sink and two toilets. This is one of the upstairs classrooms. I've put in some nice big windows, and the flowers are all the same, and so are the walls. I've put a bracket up here, and we have some more stickers. I've made a little cabinet here with lots of drawers at the front and some geometry shapes because this will be the maths classroom. We have a blackboard here which will pop up above the cabinet. Now we need some desks to put in. I've put a little calculator on this one and a little chair, there we are, and we'll do the same over here, another chair and a desk. Here's the maths classroom all finished. Put it above the canteen, there we are, looking good. This one has three windows at the front and we have the detachable roof with the clock. I thought they will look nice being in the middle. We have a world map and another bracket to put another blackboard in. Same blackboard as before. I couldn't find any other blackboard stickers so I may do with what I had. Now we have a telescope here, I love this, on a little cabinet, pop that there. Another cabinet with some bookends and a cute brown owl, we'll pop it here in the corner. And two books to put in here. There they are, they fit nice and snug. I loved this skeleton on the stand, so it's going in this classroom. They'll be learning about all the bones in the minifigure body. And we'll be putting in two more desks and two more chairs in this classroom. We need a teacher in the classroom. And look, oh, Daniel, he's taking the biology class today. And Emily Jones, she's from the Lego Elves sets. This classroom is going up above the maths classroom. There we are. Come on, Daniel, sit still. Here we go, classroom number four. And this will be the art department. We have an easel here with a painting on there. And we'll pop another one here in the corner, exactly the same. And this is the table with the vase and flowers and apple. This is what the students will be painting today. I'll pop some stools in now so they can sit down and paint if they want to. Now we need some paints and some storage for some paint brushes. I'll try and open this. Mm, there we go, there's a paint brush. I'll try and open this one. Oh, and some coloured paper. 
More storage and more paints. This one has scissors inside. We can leave that drawer open. We have Mia joining the art class today. Paintbrush in hand. There she is. And this boy is Michael. He's going to look inside the drawer. This classroom is going above the music room. Click it in place. Looking good. Okay, classroom number five. Another blackboard. Pop that on the side. Oh, look, a cabinet with a microscope and some potion. Pop that here. Another one exactly the same. I wonder what the students are looking at under the microscope. We have some stools over here so they can sit down and look at the microscope. So they're a little bit more comfortable. And some more desks. Two more desks in this class. And we have a book stand here because we need to have a few more books here. There we go, we've got some frogs on the front. We'll pop another teacher in here. Oh, look, she's got some glasses on. I love the mini dolls with glasses. We have a student here. And another girl sitting there. Maybe they'll be looking at frogs today. This classroom is going above the art classroom. Now we need one last classroom to finish off the school. I had another roof with a clock on it and I thought it would look nice on this classroom. Same again, we have the bracket, but this time it's a different board we're putting up. We're putting up some fashion pictures and a painting. Oh, a sewing machine and a lamp. I think they're sewing some bows in this classroom. We have some yellow and blue fabric to put on the table. And pen, scissors and pink fabric. Looks like they'll be doing lots of crafting today. Oh, and here we have a calligraphy table set. And look, another little ink pot hidden under the table. That came from one of my Lego Elves sets. We'll pop it over here. They will be drawing some maps in this class as well. Let's pop a teacher in. She's going to help everyone to sew. Who's the student that's going in here? It's Emma. She is going to be making bows today. Let's pop this classroom above the toilets. Oh, look at this, finished Heart Lake City High School. It's quite a large build, but I thought for a high school it needs to be quite big. And I'm going back to the canteen. I like the look of those sandwiches. Let's take a look at the front now. Groundskeeper Willie, hello. Oh, he's got a plunger in hand. There's a girl washing her hands here and oh, groundskeeper Willie is trying to unblock the toilet. Someone's put something in the toilet. Oh, a chicken drumstick. No wonder the toilet was blocked. Look at the size of that drumstick. Aha, lassie, not happy. I'm going to put a boy at the front here. He's not in class at the moment. He wants to shoot some hoops. This tree here will provide some shade for the kids having lunch. The transparent bricks here provide extra light and I love the three windows across. I think the Heart Lake City High School needed to be a lot bigger so you can have more kids attending and have a lot more classrooms also. 
I used two sets to complete this build plus a few more yellow panels that I had. All in all I think this school looks great. I know it takes up a bit of room but it really really needed it. So everyone get your bricks out, get building and get creative. See you next time.